very Chinese way to cook scallops with some strong flavours. Right, Stuart, okay. I'm going to show you my black bean scallops. Okay, okay. okay. You, you don't like scallops though, don't you? Not you me personally, me. no. Why not? They're so delicious. I because can't it believe it. Are you going to be convinced, I hope? Right, yeah? right, hope so. Okay. Do you know how to do this to clean a scallop? Uh, I've seen it, but I You've haven't seen done it. it. You haven't done no. it? Okay. Okay, this is what you do. Just really quick tip. That's the flat bit. Mm -hmm. We just lay that on there, okay, and get a tea towel. Just hold it down. And then if you can get a little space, just get your knife in there. Just slide your knife right the way through to the end. And then it opens up. That's it. Yeah, that's it, because you cut right through. And then you reveal all that. That's the piece mm -hmm. of meat that we want. That bit there, that's the coral the roe, and that's delicious as well. Some people love to eat that too. I'm going to take it all out. As a precaution, even though these are diver caught scallops and therefore both ecologically sound and relatively clean, I rinse them in cold water to remove any possible grit or dirt. So you just damp it dry like that, just to remove any excess moisture. So the scallops are done, and then I'm going to make a delicious paste. My favourite fragrant trio, finely chopped chilli, ginger and garlic. But this sauce also uses black beans, made by fermenting soybeans with garlic, salt and a host of spices. Pick one of those and have a taste. What do you reckon? Oh, they're all right, eh? They're all right? So Stuart's not keen on scallops and he doesn't seem entirely convinced by the black beans. But I'm sure I can change his mind. Let me bosh up. Yep, you can do that. Give that a good bosh. And then I'm going to just add about a tablespoon. This is Shaoxing rice wine. Right. It's really strong and it's got this bittersweet flavour. If you don't have this, you can use dry sherry. Have a taste. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit sorry. It's a bit sweet. Like bittersweet. No? You don't improve. <laughs> All right then. Something I hope is more to Stuart's taste, some soy sauce. Don't need to mash up too much now because we like a bit of when it's all bitty and it's got texture. Spread the paste over the scallops. Surround the scallop with some pre-soaked fine noodles. These ones are made from mung beans. Some drops of water to help the sauce along. Just drizzle just a little bit of water because that just helps create the sauce, because the flavour from the... the, the, right, the, the yeah, the all the mocha. sweetness and, yeah. yeah, from the scallops is all going to come out and it's going to make this delicious sauce. This is looking like a bit like of a that. challenge. Stuart doesn't like scallops, black beans or Shaoxing wine, the three main ingredients in this dish. So pop them on, one on top of the other, and then lid on, and then onto steamer like that. So that's going to steam about five to six minutes. After six minutes, I hold my breath as I take the scallops with black beans and Shaoxing rice wine out of the steamer. Get that. What do you think? Should be so fresh, it just falls off. Mm. Lovely. And you've got to have a bit of the noodles as well. The sauce just gets in there and it's just really light and delicate. It just gives it a different texture. The Chinese love like the cold and mouthfeel texture. I'm not just about the flavor. A result against the